So here's how you can create a landing page for affiliate marketing for free. Follow along using the link in the description of the pinned comment using system.io. Let's begin. All right, I am ready to have some fun with you. Such a simple process and with System, they do come with a free plan. So yes, you can do this for free. What you wanna do once you have an account and you're on the inside, you're gonna hover over sites, click on sales funnel. This is where I am right now and click on the blue create button right here. All right, so I'm just gonna call this the affiliate lander. Whatever it is you're gonna be promoting for affiliate marketing, you could just call it that if you know this specific product. This title is more so, so you know which landing page it's going to be, all right? For this, I just put sell, and you know we're gonna use our same funnel domain. I'm in the US, so I'm gonna use that for my currency. Pick whichever one works best for you and click on save. And the funnel has been successfully created. Now we wanna click on it right here. All right, and I did talk about how we were going to be selling something, but we don't actually need these templates here. So we can click on the three dots and do remove, confirm. All right, the funnel step has been removed. Let's do the same thing for the thank you page. We only need one page here, remove and confirm. Great, so now we are starting from scratch. Let's do add step. So for this, I'm just gonna call it Pictory. That's gonna be the example of the affiliate product I'm gonna be promoting, just you know, so I know. And we're gonna do choose step. Now for this, you can do actually a wide variety of things here, but overall, I am just gonna go with the sales page right here and let's do save. All right, and so now that that is good to go, we have plenty of templates to choose from. I'm gonna scroll down a little and just do 30 right here so we can see more at a time. Now, ideally, we only need a few things. We need a headline, we need some space under it where we can put a video, and then underneath that, we need a button. If you've ever seen any of my other landing page tutorials, it is going to be similar, except obviously I'm using System in this one. And these are my favorite types of landing pages because they allow you to get up and running very quickly. Like a lot of these are almost too spiffy for me. Uh, simple overall has been better for me in terms of conversions just through all the testing I've ever done. So I am looking for something a little bit more simple. This actually isn't too bad. I kind of like that. I might use that one, but something like this. Let's do preview. And this is actually perfect. So we have our headline, we're gonna have our video and we're gonna have a button and everything else under here we can just remove. So if you wanted to add more, this one's actually really good, I like this. So let's exit off of this. So if you are following along from home, I'm gonna be using this one if you wanna find that and select that. If you wanna use a different one, feel free to. It's mostly just gonna be the same thing, just kind of switching it out. Let's click on select. All right, great, so now that we have that, what we wanna do is click on edit page right here. Actually, before we do that, in case you wanted to change this, let's just say I'm gonna call it the name of the product we're gonna be promoting just so it's you know a little bit more synergy and it lines up. So you can do that, and once we have done that, simply click on edit page. All right, so here's the great thing about this. <laughs> the first step is gonna be deleting almost everything. So if you hover over each section, you're gonna see that we have like this long image section. And if we go over that, this is the section on top. We don't need that. So I'm gonna go here and do delete. And we're gonna keep all this here and this there. And so pretty much everything under the button we're gonna be getting rid of. So if I make this a little bigger, I'll just go like this and delete these. Actually, now that we can see that, let's delete that. So now everything else, if you wanted to keep any of these other sections, you can. Some ideas for here are gonna be like benefits. You know, whatever it is you're promoting, you can talk about there. If you have any bonuses, you can do that as well. But given the fact this is gonna be simple, this is a section under, so I'm gonna highlight that and delete it. And I'm gonna be doing that a few times here. I don't even need to see pretty much what's under there. Like maybe we'll keep some room on the bottom like for where the uh, footer is gonna be. This right here. Like I said, if there's anything you wanted to keep here, feel free to. And then this should be the last section minus the bottom. Perfect. This is our landing page. So let's begin. As I always start off, how to yay without boot. Okay. This is our headline formula. Ideally, if you can create something that inspires a lot of curiosity, you're gonna get so many more clicks. So what I usually talk about, I'll give you a few examples in different niches. In weight loss, I used to be a personal trainer, how to lose weight without living in the gym, how to lose weight without counting calories, how to lose weight without giving up your favorite foods, how to lose weight without doing cardio 10 hours a day. Okay, so these are all things people wanna do. And there's also the big thing they don't wanna do. Like I said, 
if you could become a millionaire and all you have to do is, you know, let's see, like stage talks every day, people would be like, no way. Because public speaking is like one of the most feared things to do. So you have to understand that there are things that your audience really want. And there's also the things that they really don't want to do. So if you can hit both of those, you're going to create a very good formula. So let's do this. How to create a thriving YouTube channel, dot, dot, dot. And what we can do, since this is a little bit bigger, I'm going to put the without down here, okay? Without ever filming a video yourself. So that's a pretty good hook in my opinion because a lot of people don't know exactly how to do that. And that's the thing. You want to add and inspire some curiosity. But the biggest thing here is that whatever hook you use, you have to make sure you pay it off or talk about it in the video that's going to be below it. Okay, so this is going to be an example of one. So how do yay without boo? You might be asking, how do you do that? Well, I mean, obviously you can use AI, you can even outsource it, but whatever it's going to be, that's going to be an example of a hook in terms of a headline that you want to use. So you can put all of the headline right here and you can even make the text smaller if you want. So if you click on it, there's going to be the font size, Could probably do a little bit smaller, something like that. But I like doing it both. If the headline is going to be very long, I'll use the sub headline as the little extra part after. Okay, so this is actually going to be an image, even though it looks like a video. So if we go over to here, we have our elements, we have our blocks just to kind of showcase. If we scroll down right here, we have video and we're gonna drag and drop it right here. And while we do that, let's get rid of this. We're pretty much just exchanging that. You're gonna notice thing is like all up in its business, which I don't like. So if we do the margin, let's see, there we go. We wanna make it a little bit further away, not too far, but it doesn't need to be like touching it like that. Perfect, something like that. Now what we want to do is add a video. So we can do a direct link. You can do custom embed or you can even upload it. I have a video of this, so I'm just going to get it very quickly. I assume you know how to get a YouTube link, right? So I'm going to do that and paste it in one moment. All right, I am back. Let's paste it in. And just like that, there I am. So there's going to be my review right there. And this is going to be the button. So let's click on this right here. We have button width, we have fluid, and we have full width, which is going to be much longer. Really up to you what you want to do. I kind of like the one in the middle center and a little bit smaller. And we want our call to action. Click here to try Pictory today. Font size, that stuff looks good. Fonts and so on and so forth. We have color. I think blue looks fine there. Uh, and that, And then, of course, most importantly, what we want to do is go to our link. So action one clicked button. We don't have another step. What we want to do is open URL. And this is going to be, let's just say, I believe it's off the top of my head. But your affiliate link would go here. So like if this was me, let's just say it would be like marketing aisle.com slash pictory. Okay, open in a new window right here. So the idea behind this is that when someone clicks on it, if they're watching a video, it's going to open up in a new tab and it allows them to at least come back to their video later instead of messing it up where they have to either hit back or exit off the page. So that's the reasoning behind that. Uh, that's going to be fine like that. And we can also make a little bit notice that it is going to be a affiliate link. So let's do this. Let's do text. A little bit big, let's say like affiliate link above. And we can move this like right there. And then we can move this once again where the padding I think is gonna be, let's do this way. Something like that and perfect. And then we had this little, there's a little row right here. I can just delete, it's not doing anything and that's fine. So what you'd wanna do right here is exactly what it shows. You have like terms and conditions. So usually it's gonna be, let me just delete all this. So it's like privacy policy, terms and conditions, and like support. So in case you're curious about how you can link those, it's very simple to do. You click on it right here. We're gonna highlight it. And as you can see, this is gonna be a link. So this is gonna be open a link in a new tab. So if you have a privacy policy terms, you can get those anywhere. I'm not gonna show you how to do those. That's more of a legal thing, but either way, uh, you would link to it right here in a new tab. System.io also does have actual pages that you can link to and then just copy and paste the privacy policy to it. So that can be there as well. So let's actually make sure we save this. All right, and we can even take a look on mobile right here. 
All right, and so this is gonna be on mobile. This is actually a little bit too close still, so we can go there and do the margins. Let's do, I believe it's this one. There we go, much better. Great, so let's save. Let's go back to the non-mobile version. And this is gonna be what we have for a landing page. So it wouldn't be a tutorial without me opening it up, showing you what it looks like and giving you some more explanation about why this works so well and just why I like these types of landing pages overall. So let's click on the play right here. All right, so this is preview mode. Don't use this URL. Okay, what's this X off of that? So how to create a thriving YouTube channel without ever filming a video yourself. We have our headline formula, how to yay without boo. We have a video right here. And like I talked about previously, you might not be big on videos, but I think it's just a better way of doing it because it's kind of like doing two landing pages in one where you could always take what you use in your video and use that as a landing page as text on it if you need. Or if you, even if you don't have a video, this can be replaced with text. And of course, this is going to be the button right here. So there is one thing. Normally, when I open up a landing page, I like to have everything above the fold. It doesn't always need to be that way. But as you can see, this is kind of cut off a little and I have a pretty big screen. So what I want to do is go back. And I wanna kinda of make everything a little bit smaller. So if I click on this, let's see, we can do font size a little bit smaller, and I wanna move it up. So padding, let's see, let's do this way. I guess that's, all right, so let's do, I always confuse that if I want it to go up or down. So that's that one. There we go, now I got it right. So moving that up, I'm gonna do the same thing with this video right here. I believe I can do the same thing. Let's see, margin uh, like this. And then I'm gonna go down a little bit more and just do this. Maybe I do want it a little bit, so up and down. There we go. Now let's do save. And we can preview. All right, I find that to be a lot better because now you can actually see the button. And I know everyone's screen isn't going to be as big, but I think that's completely fine. Everything's above the fold. And if you'll look at it, what makes a landing page so powerful, say compared to a website, there are no other distractions on here. And that's something you want. If you take someone to a website, just think about it. There's going to be like, on the right side, there's gonna be banner ads. There can be a free gift here. On the top, there's gonna to be the little Hamburg menu. And when you drop it down, there's every single category they have, of every single blog post they have. They have these ads popping up. They have support, they have contact, they have the writer of the week. They have this, they have that. They have their newsletter. They have another special deal. There's like 500 different dis distractions there. And with this, it's just, Watch the video and click the button or leave, nothing else. That's what makes it so powerful and that's why I like simple landing pages because the hook itself is gonna do a lot of the heavy lifting. If this just says how to create a YouTube channel, people are gonna go, wow, congratulations, welcome to 2010. You could have told me that decades ago, all right? So it has to be something that's going to entice them to kind of spark some curiosity and say, how the heck in the world are you ever going to do that? then they watch the video, okay? So that can obviously sell them on whatever it is you're going to be promoting or obviously doing a video about. I like doing my video reviews, so naturally it's gonna be easy for me to embed a video, throw up a nice little um, subheadline and headline at top, and then of course have a button down below where they can click your affiliate link. That's where you can obviously get paid as an affiliate. And in conclusion, that is gonna be how you can create a landing page for affiliate marketing for free. I hope this helped you out. And of course, if you do wanna follow along, system.io does have that free plan and you can click the link down below any description or the pinned comment to start creating some landing pages today. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.